Okay, we got another super low production video. I'm gonna try to knock out here real quick. Um, I've been stumbled um, by this problem before, and that is where the microphone uh, disappears from the keyboard. And um, I have a real bad habit of preferring to use the microphone to text people. And I also like to use it for typing into web browsers, so on and so forth. And I've Googled this. I couldn't find the answer. I looked and looked and looked. And every time that someone asks this question, a lot of people will respond, hey, check this, check this, check this, check that. And everyone says, nope, didn't do anything for me. And I just figured out where the setting is. It's counterintuitive. It's not where, it's not what you would think. Google views the microphone in the keyboard as something that we just, I don't know, I guess they look at it a little differently than I do. So it, it just doesn't make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what I, what I mean by that. So um, I would pull up my text messaging client or application, but I don't want to give out people's contact information, phone numbers, names, etc. Um, so I'm just going to open up um, say Firefox and it it will be the same keyboard um, even though I normally use this for texting um, it's it's the same keyboard for texting as you would do for other apps okay so anyways let's go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's off there's normally a, a little microphone right over here but you're missing a whole strip of things right through here okay right right up here through here in the uh, keyboard so if how do we get that turned back on well this is not intuitive but you um, you press and hold the comma and it brings up that little menu you click on that and then here you are you get to the keyboard settings and then we want to go to what is called text correction I guess they view the microphone as being somehow part of the text correction category of things and it is this show suggestion strip we'll turn this back on we'll hit back back and there it is now we have our stuff up here so I'm gonna hit the backspace this is just a test and as you can see there it is, it's listening to me. It still is listening to me. Okay, now we can go ahead and cancel this and type here again, we'll turn it off, just to demonstrate this one more time, how we get to that. It's the, you press and hold the comma and you don't have to actually slide over to the settings, it just automatically comes here. Go to text correction, show suggestion strip. Okay. This turns it off. And then we hit back, back, and now it's gone. So how do we turn it on? Press and hold, not that. Press and hold the, um, you gotta get the keyboard open first. Press and hold the comma, text correction, show suggestion strip, back, back. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the keyboard open again. There is another way on how to get to the settings. It's right here. And I've been missing this all week. And I kind of actually enjoy some of these things, especially The Office and some of these other shows. I kind of like these um, these gifts, I guess. They're kind of funny. So anyways, um, again, when you have the suggestion strip, as they call it, you have right here a shortcut to the settings. So I just wanted to share that. I don't know if that's anywhere um, in the internet, but how I'm going to label this is... Um, missing microphone on Android keyboard. So I 
looked and looked and looked, and it was very frustrating not having that and people trying to text me, and I'm having to actually type it out. I know first world problems, but anyways, um, I just want to share that. That's all I got.